Hello, this is uh, one in the clinching series for clinching, escape, and slam. He's going to clinch. Now, ah, I'm going to take the other clinch. I'm going to take over. The other arm. Instead of grabbing the neck, I'm going to grab the bicep. Now, when he asks me does it like this, I'm going to make a little chicken wing like this. I'm going to throw his arm up, dive under, and grab. As you can see, my hands are here. Now I have a cool back position. I can try to choke, however, it's not that powerful. So, for this video, we're going to use the knee. We're going to tap him on the hamstring and pull. Like that. Of course, if you're in MMA or any sort of uh, wrestling situation, you can also, when he has you, on a clinch, arm goes up, like this. You can also jump on him and go to a back mount. But for now, knee to the side and pull. And finish it. Really in this situation, it's also for uh, uh, controls. If he has you like this and he starts kneeing, when I'm too late, and he gets the overhand and puts my head down towards his knees, now I'm in danger. There's the same thing you can actually do, only this time with your lower hand, and when he starts kneeing, keep one hand down. So if the really dangerous knees to my face, I can barely block him, but it's better than nothing. Now, I'm gonna push that way, back, boom. And from here, back drop. Now, he asked me again, he's going to uh, start kneeing. Now I'm going to keep my closest hand just to uh, try to stop those attacks or block them or make them less dangerous. My other hand, this one, is going to grab behind the elbow and I'll wait till his knee goes up because if I don't and he's standing, he will expect it. At least there's a bigger chance. So when he's kneeing, he's thinking of that, so that's when I'm going to strike. Bang. Lifting. That's it. Thank you for watching. Only do this in a safe environment under the supervision of professionals. Thank you for watching.